Good morning, you guys. Well, it's not even morning. Is it morning? Damn, it's not morning. It's 1.23, and I'm, like, really just getting my day started. But I am sitting in my living room. I have slept here last night because, honestly, as I always say, like, sleep has been, like, super crazy. <sighs> I've just been so uncomfortable. I know I talk about it in my bump dates, but... I don't think y'all understand uh, how difficult this pregnancy has been starting to get. So excuse the crustiness, but I just uh, I didn't feel like putting on gel if I wasn't really ready to get up. Even though I need to get up and do something with myself. But this belly bump is starting to get really heavy. She's getting really round. Um... And it's hard to find a good position to put her in to where I can breathe. I noticed that the other day my wine, my wine, my line has gotten wider right here. I don't know what that's about, but I did wake up that day um, with like a lot of random lines on my stomach. So I feel like I kind of slept on my stomach like a cord or something on my phone. <sighs> it is getting really tough. I'm getting really claustrophobic and overwhelmed with this pregnancy journey. Hold on, let me try to sit up and maybe talk a little bit better. I'm so crusty. But yeah, this pregnancy has been getting really tough, more so at night because breathing has been getting tough and it is harder for me to get comfortable and I know I always talk about it but I don't never really show it but it really has been I better not cry it's like I'll put like two or three pillows like this stack side by side and literally like create like this massage table where it's like a hole in the middle and I just drop my stomach in the middle and last night I have done that and finally got the most comfortable I've been in an extremely long time. And I know I was taking up a lot of room and David woke me up and I just got so emotional about it because I haven't gotten good sleep in a really long time. And this is like the third night in a row I have cried myself asleep because of me not being comfortable. And right now I'm not really coping well honestly it's making me not enjoy it's making me not enjoy God. it's making me not enjoy being pregnant and that makes me feel bad because I don't want To feel like I have any regrets because I don't and I would do it a thousand times to have my baby <laughs> as long as my baby is here but it's like really tough being on bed rest and technically I'm not really even like on like a serious bed rest like some people because everything's been going fine but it's like really tough when your body's always like shutting you down. You know, I do things in increments and then there comes a point in time where I feel like, all right, I got to sit now because I'm about to like pass out or something like that. Which is usually like in 30 minute increments or something like that. I don't even know why I'm crying. I just don't want her to feel like I have any regrets for it. And I don't want people who are still on their TTC journey to feel like at least you have your baby. Because I know sometimes I felt like that. Like, well, at least you're pregnant, you know? In most cases, I don't record because now it's like pregnancy is getting like really miserable for me. And I don't want to expose that part too much i feel bad because like everyone that i watch on youtube or something like that they see everything as you know 
rainbows and butterflies and stuff like that and every little thing is like a blessing to them and I'm just like man why don't why don't I feel like that you don't want to feel like that but it's hard you know I know it's almost over I'm gonna be crying with dry lips child to be honest this this uh journey has really deterred me from wanting to like jump into trying to have another kid but it's like I don't want to wait at the same time because it took us a long time to get to this point but you know it's hard you know I make jokes about he ain't getting none and stuff like that but in all reality that stuff is hard you know not being able to be there for him and as a wife like I don't have energy to cook and then I hear my husband say stuff like man I can't I can't wait until we get back to normal you know we get back to how life was before or he'll say things like man pregnancy is not fun I didn't think it would be easy but I didn't realize how difficult it would be you know I'm not working and I'm grateful for that because I know it's healthy for her and I'm cool with that but on the other side of that is that this is this is life every day like crickets and me laying down because I don't have energy to do anything else and then now I've been home for yeah like six months I've been home you know things are getting tough they're financially tough you know I'm preparing for the baby shower and stuff like that and I want that to be good and then it's like I'm mentally preparing for her to come and I'm ready to be me and this person who is depressed who is sad I don't know this person like if you watch my TTC journey you have seen me like upset and frustrated and overwhelmed but even then I still had a lot of moments where I could snap out of it you know let's go celebrate babe let's go out to eat let's go here let's get out you know and I can't do that even though I'm not for sure I know I'm not I just feel useless i don't know i don't even know what i'm talking about but i i just want to vent i guess but i do plan on trying to get some stuff done the house is a little bit messy or a lot of bit <laughs> a lot of bit messy because i have my palette if you see like i have palettes of stuff like i can like pick up some crap and i also have some of the diy stuff i started to prepare for the baby shower so maybe i can do that and try to put <laughs> some water and gel on my hair and just look decent but i'm not gonna probably change or anything right now because one of the projects i'm doing for my baby shower is this chair and i gotta spray paint it and whatnot so let's get up and put some water in my hair and maybe try to tackle this chair all right mm. Whew. this ice is everything y'all don't have to keep telling me it's because of iron because i already know that but i usually uh get the tiny like hospital ice I love their ice because the ice is so soft so it's not as harsh on my teeth I love this ice so much I'm gonna try to put some water in my hair oh I almost chewed on my tongue Woo. it's been a minute since I really put anything in my hair like when I took out my hair if you seen on uh, snapchat not snapchat um, I don't be on there anymore I um washed it and everything like that but it took four days to dry actually it never fully dried at, at the four day mark I had to um blow dry because I was tired of feeling water in my hair every night when I scratched my head it's just water so I, I know my hair thirsty and it's so dry right now but I really don't want to put a serious amount of water in it because I swear it just sits on my hair. It doesn't really absorb it. So I put a little bit on the ends just to kind of make the curls pop, I guess. 
But that's really it, cause you know, I ain't trying to have wet hair all day. Put some gel on my edges and call it a day. I ain't trying to sit out here looking like yesterday. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna re-shower right now. I don't care what y'all gotta say, child, because I'm just gonna get dirty from doing this DIY project. Uh, so far the projects turned out nice. I don't, I did record trying to do some of the project. I don't know if it's gonna be added into this video or not, or it'd be its own separate video. But if I don't add it, you'll see that. I think it's turned out pretty good. And I never really like to put my hair in a serious, serious ponytail because that takes out hair. <laughs> it's not really to make my hair look longer. I just don't like the idea of tying it down. <laughs> look at my belly button. I literally take anything I can tie up. I don't know what this was. Oh, this was an old bra. No wonder why I couldn't find this bra. Oh well. This was like one of those half bras that I cut into pieces. And this is one of the strips, so. I just take that. Put it like that. And tie a knot. And then just pull and tighten. Then drag up my hair so it's not pulling in the back. Pull and tighten. Let's see how big I want this to be. This will get smaller, so probably right here. For when they get dry. And I'm tired of that and just hide the other end. And that is my bun child. I ain't not gonna do no edges today because nobody ain't trying to see me. <laughs> not at all. All right, so I had to do some touch-ups under my eyes because that was looking a little bit too crazy. But anyway, I ain't blending it out too, too well, but oh well. <sighs> Don't judge me in how crazy my project is taking over my house because it really is. It it's it looks a hot mess. So here we go. So this is the chair that I need to spray paint and whatnot. I put these pillows on the floor just so I have something to sit on. I had to break up this is Spanish moss. I do not know if this is real Spanish moss or not, but it was really strong and I had to break it up. So I have like this whole little like playpen <laughs> sandbox situation going on so that because this is so expensive, I have to pretty much I don't want to lose any of the small little pieces because those are the pieces that I'm going to actually be putting on this chair. I got this idea from Pinterest and I think it looks great. It's kind of what it looks like over there and I love it. So I'm doing the same thing to this chair or whatnot. I wonder if I should spray this with glue so that it won't have no little pieces coming up. I wonder. I might try it. I might try that. So let's do that. I don't know if you can see it, but this is Elmer's uh, craft bond. Ugh. 
So I'm not getting some of the green parts or whatever, but honestly, I don't feel like taping it. I might just touch up those areas that the gold is touching on. But if you were doing this, I would suggest, highly suggest taping it. I'm just too lazy. And it's so hard because I have to get close to spray paint it, but getting close makes a bleeding like that. I don't know. Just gonna do my best, child. Do my best. All right, so I'm just finishing. It's really bright, so I'm sorry. But I just kind of finished the first coat and this is what it's looking like. Probably gonna end up doing one more coat after this. Wherever I got the green on the fabric, I'm going to just redo it since I got plenty of that paint. Yeah, that is what it's looking like. All right, so I'm sitting in the playpen <laughs> in my little sandbox and getting ready to break up some more of this moss or whatnot while trying to watch some YouTube videos. Um, these need to be pretty fine to put on the chairs and the board and stuff like that that I'm making. So what I'm looking for is like them parts that's dropping on it. So I have to break apart this and this is the cheapest option to get this bag of Spanish moss. I got this from Hobby Lobby and it was 525 cubits square feet that it covers, but I got it half off. It was $7.99, so $4 uh, a bag. So I got two bags and it seems to be plenty, I hope, because <laughs> I really don't want to get nothing else, really. So I'm just going to be doing this and uh, until I don't feel like it, I guess. Yeah. I'm here to show you guys what I actually used in my hospital bag. I got asked this a lot and uh, being a first time mom, it was something that I'm excited to do just to show you guys what people actually use. I feel like first time moms, we overpack and we do the most. And I just want to help y'all as far as what I actually use. As y'all know, I used my Bessie Johnson bag and it was perfect because I had my stuff and my boyfriend's stuff in here. So I'm going to start by what's not in this bag right now that I use. Um, I took a, a, a gift card to get some snacks and stuff beforehand. So we took some ones with us that we ended up not using. Because um, we took snacks and then people, family, when they came, they brought us food. What brought him food? I couldn't eat until after I had her. And the money that we took to the hospital for snacks. All right, so I just finished doing breaking up the Spanish moss. It is looking pretty good. Uh, I got it looking all like this. That is the box full of my DIY, so if it look crazy, it's going to look crazy, at least for the next week or two or uh, whatnot. So I also bought some of these from the Dollar Tree to kind of like pour in there too, to kind of like help it out or whatnot if I'm getting low. And I got some of these patches too as well from uh, Hobby Lobby. So I think that's going to be it for this video. I just really wanted to just show y'all my daily right now and how things are going and things are going to be okay. So I just have my moments and I just want to be completely and transparent with you guys. So yeah, I think that's going to be all. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Just say free black young, free young. Lenny Woods in the morning. R.I.P. your mama.